I'm one of those people that can wake himself up from a dream. I can be really far, far, far away, and all of a sudden I realize this isn't right. It doesn't look right, and I'll wake up. I can control my dreams. Now, I can't control the content of my dreams, but I can get out of a dream when my, when my subconscious begins to say, no, no, there's no way that this could physically be happening. And then the problem is, is that how do you get back to sleep? Well, that's where I rely on meditation. Yoga Nidra is, is my meditation, Nidra. And, and so, therefore, I rely on that to, okay, you're safe. Everything's cool. Yes, you were in a dream. Okay, now let's slowly breathe. Bring it in. Bring it out. Look for the moving pictures. Clear the mind. Allow yourself to feel what is moving through you slowly. Kind of weird, huh? Kind of weird. But it's something to look into, and, and it's something to get a control of. And that is, if you're dreaming, and it doesn't feel right, look right, smell right, if something isn't right, then get out. Get out, because it's going to poison the hours when you are awake. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. It's stuff like this that I'd love to write about because you learn more about yourself and you learn more about others, those that are around you, because who you surround yourself with really becomes a piece of you. And, and that's the thing about it. We all begin to walk the same walk. This is The Daily Mess. The task has always been to keep the beast unmasked. The inner monsters that often take over your directions and ambitions. Now, the idea of being controlled by these things that other people can't see seems a little insane, doesn't it? Until you open conversations with other people who are struggling with their own beasts. You can see it. Look in their eyes. But most of the time we don't. What we do is we go, uh-oh, I'm going this way. But you saw their beast. I know. But I'm going this way. I don't have time to deal with someone else's down. Wow. Wow. And you, and you wonder, you wonder why we are the way that we are. The voices that we can only hear can embarrass us in public. How many times have you answered your beast and someone goes, what'd you say? Oh, nothing. nothing. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. But the beast got a reaction out of you. I write about them to call them out. I've never been a fan of being awake at four in the morning, but I'll tell you what, those beasts, they're going knock, knock, knock. Hey, guess what? It's me. Just know in your soul that you have complete control. Let no voice in the middle of the night have reason to wake you from a dream. Unless that dream just doesn't fit well into your story. And you know what I'm talking about. Those dreams where you go, what? How, how is this even possible? I even wake myself up during those dreams where I can fly. Or I can write incredible music. It's like, no, 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 no. I know me more than that and better than that. Th no, that's just not it. It's, I, I got to wake up. We allow too many of these Hollywood movies to give us reasons to unlock what is protecting us. What happens is, is that we wake up, we feel like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, where's Jason? Michael? Freddy Krueger? It's happening. It's not that way. Because you are your own beast. That's a heavy thing to carry. You are the one that's in control of the monsters. And that's why I say the best way to protect ourselves is to make sure the task has always been to keep the beast unmasked. And the very second that you allow that beast to go into hiding, you have every reason now to wonder what's next. And that's not, that's not a good place because that's when you're going to start falsifying many things that you expect to do in that one day. You're going to say, no, no, no I'm not going that way. Because the beast is over there. I, I'm not facing the beast. I'm not going that direction. When in reality, you need to turn around and face the chariots and look at the beast and say, you can have a voice. You can have a presence. But you are not to wake me up at four o'clock in the morning. We'll talk at eight, nine, ten. But your job is to make sure that I do sleep and you don't screw up my dreams. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.